New Orleans police are searching for three suspects Sunday after at least 17 people were shot during a Mother's Day parade. Police spokeswoman Remy Braden said in an email that many of the 17 victims were grazed and most of the wounds weren't life-threatening. No deaths were reported. Chief Serpus announced in a press conference that the youngest victim is believed to be a 10-year-old girl. Police say she suffered a graze wound, WVUE Fox 8 reported. Officers were interspersed with the marchers, which is routine for such events. As many as 400 people joined in the procession that stretched for about three blocks, though only half that many were in the immediate vicinity of the shooting, Serpus said. Serpus said that the procession had been accompanied by officers, who saw two or three suspects run from the scene in the city's 7th Ward. Nobody has been arrested. It's unclear what sparked the gunfire. Eleven patients have been admitted to interim LSU Public Hospital with no life-threatening injuries, hospital spokesperson Marvin McGraw said. Second-line parades are loose processions in which people dance down the street, often following behind a brass band. They can be impromptu or planned and are sometimes described as moving block parties. A social club called the original Big Seven organized Sunday's event. The group was founded in 1996 at the St. Bernard Housing Projects, according to its MySpace page. The neighborhood where the shooting happened was a mix of low-income and middle-class row houses, some boarded up. As of last year, the neighborhood's population was about 60% of its pre-Hurricane Katrina level. Police vowed to make swift arrests. We'll get them. We have good resources in this neighborhood, Serpus said.